Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 23rd of August 2022. And the latest shopping trip in London is going to be this coming Saturday at 1 pm at Speaker's Corner Hyde Park. So I'll be there, and if you're going, I will see you there. So with that out of the way, I well, I'll give you another reminder about that later on in the week as well. But with that out of the way, um, probably the top news I've seen today, uh, I'm pretty sure it's accurate news. And apparently Dr. Fauci has announced his resignation and he's due to go at the end of the year. And... Um, Good riddance is all I can say about that because I'm sure your opinion of him is pretty much the same as mine. Uh, a very nasty piece of work who has been complicit in, well, you know what, and um, in the words of something I'm going to recommend you in a minute, I guess his resignation is because he's running while we know he still can. Uh, he'll understand the relevance of those words in a second or you know when you go and see the thing I'm going to recommend because I'm not going to go into too much more about him but he my opinion of him is best summed up in a song by uh, Five Times August called Sad Little Man and I'll leave a link to it in the description box in the comment section below uh, because it is on uh, this platform. So, uh, quite big news, and um, yeah, I'm sort of glad uh, that the bloke's going. So, to move along a little bit, uh, I saw this crazy meme this morning, and this just sums up the madness of some people out there. Um, it's literally a guy, it must be in another country, somewhere where you don't have to wear crash helmets when you're on a motorcycle. But this guy is riding along on his bike with no crash helmet on, but a muzzle on. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, so he's basically wearing protection um, when he stands 0% chance of getting anything. Certainly not when he's riding along on a motorcycle and yet he's shunning uh, protection which would actually save his life or save him from very serious brain injury if he was to come off that machine which uh, you know when you're on a motorcycle um, that is something that is much more likely to happen to you than having an accident in a in a car so but yeah what kind of mentality have you got to be to, to even do that I I'm just going to leave it, leave it at that. I really am. Uh, so I'm going to recommend another thing. Again, it's on YouTube, so I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. And it's a little video called The Jones Plantation. And it it's kind of a, a cartoony thing. And it explains really, really well um, the political system uh, in a kind of a parody and it just sort of shows how uh, we're still slaves just as we were um, kind of back in feudal times uh, or just as uh, uh, people were sort of in the southern states of the USA on sort of plantations and all that's happened is the illusion uh, of slavery has been kind of papered over if you like um, but it's still there in the background and it's a really good explanation and my awakening journey um, I would describe it as I probably went from zero percent awake to I don't know probably only about 25 30 percent awake and that was a very long slow process over um, many years or even decades uh, until I got to the stage where I was just you know, questioning things in my head, you know, sort of asking questions, wondering why um, the same old perennial problems kept on happening, kept occurring, 
and um, and why nothing was ever done to permanently solve solve them. Uh, and there's you, you know I don't yeah the kind of problems I'm talking about the same old things. Uh, why is there always recessions? Why is there always wars? Why is there always poverty? Uh, and uh, and why is there always disease, etc. So uh, I was starting to ask questions, uh, but I was only really, I suppose, 25% awake. And then I kind of uh, went uh, at the start of 2020 from that to being however much awake you'd consider me to be now. It's definitely not 100% on uh, the thought. Uh, is anyone 100% awake? I don't know, but... Uh, I certainly wouldn't describe myself as that, uh, but whatever I am at, I kind of went from 30% to that in a real jolt in kind of only a few months. So uh, uh, it was a heck of a ride, I tell you, and uh, left me reeling at uh, some many sort of points. But uh, one of the things that I was aware of is just how ridiculous our political system is and I was really questioning it and um, because you know, if you listen to the mainstream narrative supposedly a one-party state you know totalitarianism is the worst thing you could possibly have worst form of government you can possibly have uh, you know that's where people like Stalin and Hitler and Mussolini and all the rest of it, um, you know, one party state and all that, not a good thing because you end up with people like those. Um, but on the other hand, the absolute best possible uh, system you can have, according to the mainstream, is the democratic uh, system uh, with a fantastic choice of two big parties to choose from. And that is supposedly the pinnacle and I remember thinking a lot, quite a lot of years ago, I was, uh, hang on a minute, that's only one party difference. <laughs> so, you know, the worst thing is one party and the best thing is two parties. Uh, why don't we have 20 parties, 50 parties, 100 parties? Yeah, wouldn't that be better? Um, you might argue, well, you know, if there's all those parties, no one would ever really be in power and nothing would ever get done. And if you say that, I'd answer, good. I'd sort of hope that nothing ever got done because when governments do things, uh, countries get messed up and people's lives get messed up. So I saw another meme or article or something somewhere a few weeks ago uh, that said that really government should only be uh well highly minimalists and they should really just be you know, kind of caretakers admin people who just run the country uh see foreign dignitaries to you know sort out trade deals and things like that um and they shouldn't have the amount of power and influence uh that they do now and, and sort of do all the stuff they do now um, so, yeah, to answer that question, I would say, good, you know, it would be great if nothing ever got done. So, and then you add on to that all the, all the corruption, um, all the stuff that never seems to get done and, and stuff that does get done is, is nonsense stuff that you sort of think, you know, we, we really don't need that. Um, anyway, why, yeah, why are you concentrating on, on this nonsense here when you're not sorting out real problems, which that's all that ever seems to happen, isn't it? So I'm going to leave it for now because I've got, as I say, two videos for you to watch. So the uh, five times August uh, song um, about Fauci, sad little man, and then this uh, Jones Plantation thing which I think you'll find very enlightening. And if you've got kids who are about, uh, you're probably, I suppose, 10, 12 year old kids would be, uh, you know, sort of well suited to watching it. Um, it's, it explains to them in uh, uh, very simple terms, the illusion of government, and it may well teach them to start thinking a little bit critically about the system we've got and, 
uh, well, really how rubbish it is. So I'll let you go and do that, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tim for Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.